All right, guys, welcome back. I just wanted to do a quick thing on how to run these old Humongous games in case you do have them. Um, so I do have my Freddy Fish Maze Madness um, disc loaded up. Uh, you put it into the drive, you right-click it, and you hit open so that you see everything that's actually in it. Have everything, select everything, so cl click on something, Control A, then Control C to copy it, and then you make a folder somewhere else, you'll get Freddy Fish Maze or whatever you want to name it. Open up that folder, it's an empty folder. Control V to paste everything in there, just like I have already done here. And then you, these are two things. So you're gonna need, see this maze.w32, or um, it'll be whatever the basic thing is in the uh, game. So I know putt putt travels through time was putt time. Um, but if we look up here, there's also this maze.exe application. So this is what normally runs the game. Um, and what we want to do is just select that and hit delete, get rid of it. Uh, because that is what runs the game on Windows 95, all the old systems. This maze.w32, I believe, has something to do with the 32-bit system. But if we take off those three things and rename it to .exe, then click somewhere else and say yes to changing it, this becomes the application. And when we double-click that, don't show this message again, hit OK suddenly we have the game working properly without any compatibility issues with Windows 10. And that's fantastic for me. So once again, we're back with Freddy Fish Maze Madness. That is going to be fantastic. <laughs> I've never played this. You've never played this, but... You probably wasted hours. I wasted 45 minutes earlier today <laughs> playing a Pong game in Putt-Putt Travels Through Time. I wasted weeks on this game, although I wouldn't say it's wasted. It was time well spent. No! Yeah, it's definitely going off the kelp seeds thing. Kelp seed, uh, one of the big things of this game that I can remember is collecting those, the kelp seeds. Because apparently they're sentient and they want to swim away from you. Well then. Is that just a theme in all of the Freddy Fish things? The kelp seeds? The kelp seeds. I don't think so. I know they talk about kelp a lot, but I don't know if the seeds are a thing. Okay, so this is... What I always did was, like, you can make custom levels and play them, but let's just play a new game real quick. What's our name? Mm. It's gonna be red. Of course it is. Name it Hank. To Tofu Hank. <laughs> Tofu Hank. Tofu Hank. What? Go. Level one. Let's start there. Wow, All right. So it drops you inside of this thing. Is this like Pac-Man? Is this a click thing? It is definitely like Pac-Man. So you use your arrow keys to uh, go around it, and it's kind of like Pac-Man collecting these things. And I guess it said it was a maze, but it's not really a maze. I believe you also collect these shells. Um, it gets harder, like all games do, <laughs> I guess. But... Um, like, in, in further levels, you get uh, enemies that follow you. And I guess, in the past, I definitely didn't think of this as Pac-Man, but it's, it's Pac-Man. So let's just, let's just play through this. <laughs> in fact, I think this might be Super Pac-Man, because that, that uh, purple uh, worm up there... I think it makes me get superpowers like a big dot in Pac-Man. Yeah, I go fast. So yeah, this is <laughs> what my childhood was. Um, and this is fun and all, but I'm gonna keep playing this until we get to uh, some enemies because like, it's still introducing more and more things. Like, for example, right now, 
we um, need, we need sea this urchin. sea urchin to unlock this. Yuck. Uh, but in the end, no, 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 no. Oh. I guess we'll just keep playing. But I could have collected those pearls too for extra bonus points. Uh, but we just keep going here and. Oh, yeah, you get these fish that block off your way. So you can grab that shell to get some more points. Come up and grab these shells. Grab that slug or whatever it was. Now we can go through there. Go through there. Grab that slug, eat that, and done. And it is just so... Yeah, there we go. So you remember the dog from uh, Freddy Fish number one? It wasn't a dog. Well, it's a. It was a mean, grumpy old uh, yeah, angler fish. It was basically a dog. Well, he's there now, and you have to avoid him. Which I mean, it isn't that no, difficult. The, but they had an actual dogfish in the junkyard. Yeah, but. Uh, he was mean, he was growling like a dog at the beginning down there. But, uh, like you have to actually escape from these things now. You mean like the hole in the wall that it's so kindly literally pointing at? Yes. Because this is a children's game. <laughs> Baby game. What does this do? Okay, it's just 70 points. Nice and simple. Oh, there's the glowing shell. Can I get it? No, I can't. I think it's just there. They're just making some allusions to the uh, past games. The purple ones at the top. So if we grab this, then we have to actually get out of here. I think it takes us to another part of the level. And then there's the warps. Yes. So this game just... It's fun when you're playing these levels and all, but, like, for me, the majority of it was playing the, uh, the level creators. Because that was the, uh, that was the fun part. So let's... Th does it come with a custom level? Deck... Bat... See, yeah, so you got this custom levels to make, you got the all of the enemies that you can just plop down. Um, it'll let you make the maze itself, which is fun. I mean, why wouldn't it be fun? These guys blow up. They only let you place three of them each, though. Which is kind of a bummer, but okay. But you even get... still, on that size map, having nine enemies is kind of a lot. And you're gonna spawn right there. And our one thing is gonna be there. This one makes you go fast, we're gonna put it up there. Was that just an undo or what? Okay. You sure you want to reset this level? No, I don't. Don't reset the level. So these are big rocks that I don't even know. Do bubbles give you like uh, special stuff? And if and you put you're more than get one, the worm. If you put them more in front of it, I we don't need the worm. I'm just, them? like, seeing what we want. So this is like a gate for time, because it closes and opens. Um, but we have... So that's level one. Let's go. Let's play that. So I had so much fun just making these and playing them. But now you can see how all of this works. Basically, the blue guys kind of just before. So this is like a shield against the enemies and the bubbles. I 
I won. You did it. I did it. But yeah, it's it's like a fun. I don't know. I wasted a lot of time of it with it, and this was part of like the thing that led me to have like an obsession with mazes. Like I drew a lot of mazes. Ha. Uh, I'm gonna win suck that. My balls. I have a feeling that uh, in the future when I play this with whoever, yeah, I can't get out. Um, we we're gonna have to make like levels for other people to beat, and like then you have to prove that you can beat it after they have either failed or made it. So let's quit this because we can't make that. But then we can. Boom. Blow that up and go and I want to see how uh, how dying actually works in this one. Because you can totally die in this one. The bubble gives you a uh, uh, a shield though, so that's a, a fun thing. Get over here. Get over here. I didn't want to win. Take the bubble away. I want to take the bubble away. I want to die. Kill me. The bubble lets you flatten other people, apparently. For whatever reason. So if we go down. So the, the peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwiches are actually your life. So we lost one. And that's random right there. I like how it's it's not like, oh, you died. It's like, oh, they caught you and they ate one of your sandwiches. Oh, wait, these guys don't kill you? The puffer fish don't kill you? Okay, they do kill you. Only if they're facing you, apparently, though. Maybe. I think it's basically just the movement is different. I want to see what the enemies do. I think green ones only go horizontal. Mm -hmm. Green ones only go horizontal. But the other two just kind of go wherever and the yeah. sharks are just faster. Shark yeah, sharks are faster. Oh, he's gonna get me. They never came up there before. Anyways, we'll probably play this more in the future. But as of right now, we're done for uh, our recording session. But I think we've made a lot of progress tonight. So if you like this video, please like this video. If you liked it a lot, please consider subscribing. And as always, please drink responsibly.